In this video, we're going to have a practice activity for combining the columns of two different queries. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of IDoData.com. So you can see on the screen that we have got a basic query. It takes the table sys.objects and retrieves the type description and also the number of rows that they are. So you can see there are 79 system tables, for instance. Now there's another column called create date and I want to find out which of these objects were created in the year 2022. So I'm using a where clause with that. So you can see I've got a system table 79 for all dates but only 33 of them were created in 2022. What I want to be able to do is to have this column in the first query. So for example it would say system table 79 and 33. Where there is no match, like for instance primary key constraint 1, I want it to either say 0 or null. If you want to do this as a practice activity, then you will find this code in the description to this video. Good luck! So let's see how we can do this. And as usual, there are multiple ways of doing the same thing. First of all, we could have this as a correlated query in the SELECT clause. Now you will often find correlated queries in the WHERE clause or the SELECT clause. So when it's in the SELECT clause, I can only retrieve one column, so that would be COUNT. But I'll be using the TYPE DESK or TYPE DESCRIPTION in the WHERE clause. So one of the keys to a correlated query is having an alias. So I'm going to say from sys objects as or one and from sys objects as or two. The alias names need to be different. Then I'm going to cut all of this, add a comma and put it in the select clause in a bracket or parentheses. So all of this is part of one field. Now I need to add this type description into the WHERE clause. So I'll cut it out of the SELECT clause and say AND where the type description for this query or two is equal to the type description of the outer query or one. And finally I'm going to outside of the brackets put in an alias. So as number of objects in 2022. So we have got this one query which takes the type description from the outer query and then uses it in the WHERE clause. So let's see what happens when I run this. So here we can see both columns in the one query. So system table 79, number of objects in 2022, 33. Now there is a simpler way for this specific example. So if I undo all of this and get back to our original queries, what I can have is a different column using a sum. So if I say sum and case, so this is the equivalent of the where, so case when this condition is true, then give me a one, else zero, end. So what this is doing is for each row, looking at the create date, and if the create date is in the year 2022, then give me a one, else give me a zero, and then sum it all together. And this will be as the number of objects in 2022. I'll just put that in a different line. So let's run this now and you can see we've got exactly the same result except this time instead of having nulls we have zeros. So the first way that we were doing this with correlated queries that is more applicable to a wider range of queries. However because we are counting the number of rows we are adding one each time that there is a new row we can do exactly the same thing except we can vary the response instead of it being one for each row it will be one only where the year is 2022 and zero for everything else. I hope that you enjoyed this practice activity. If you did 
but you are a bit confused about correlated queries or didn't know that you could use a case, for example, in a sum, then I hope you'll consider joining me in our SQL video courses. Our 29-hour querying Microsoft SQL Server with TSQL includes combining datasets together, including looking at the case, and also subqueries, including creating correlated subqueries. If you'd like more information about this or any of our TSQL courses, then there'll be a link in the description to this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then why not like, and why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. And you'll also find on the end screen a playlist to other practice activities. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.